the black faction, Queen Rhaenyra's faction, simply has more. They have uh, Caraxes, uh, Daemons. They have Syrax, Rhaenyra's. Uh, they have Melis, Princess Rhaenys. Um, they have Sea Smoke forming Lanors, but uh, no no rider right now. Then they have Vermithor, Old King Jaehaerys' dragon, no rider. Uh, Silverwing, uh, Old King Jaehaerys' queen, Queen Alysanne's dragon. Several uh, wild dragons that live on Dragonstone, and then they have Jace and Joffrey's dragons. The Greens have. I mean, let's start with Vagar because you can't ignore Vagar is the biggest, baddest dragon around, the former uh, mount of uh, Queen Visenya. Queen Alicent's three kids have uh, their own dragons, so this is in addition to Vagar. Uh, King Aegon, Aegon II, ha uh, rides Sunfire, which is apparently a very, very beautiful dragon. Helena has uh, Dreamfire, and then complicating all of this is the fact that you're not just sending like a nameless pilot out on the dragon, right? Especially if they're going to be fighting each other, which is very dangerous. You're sending Aegon the King is going to be riding a dragon. It, Prince Aemon, these are like very important people. So there's an advantage in dragons by, the, uh, by Queen Rhaenyra's side. It's maybe not as big an advantage as you think because she's going to be loath to throw her heir, Jace, into the mix, and neither side really wants their dragons to go head to head. How this advantage in, in numerical terms is going to play out is going to be very interesting to say. Not to mention the fact that, you know, Vermithor, Silverwing, the Wild Dragon, Sea Smoke, these dragons held by a Rhaenyra side, don't have Riders, where are these riders going to come from? Uh, TBD.